Hiya hiya, this is Chef Chacha Dave. Uh, today I'm going to make tempura shrimp and flounder with mega vegetables. Um, I'm going to start over here. Uh, these are the shrimp. The only This is for two people. Uh, what I've done is I've already cleaned the shrimp. And the first thing I'm going to do here is massage the shrimp. I'm pressing it down, pressing it down so that it becomes longer and when it goes into the oil it'll come out like that. Okay. And then uh, flounder is there, and uh, I have Korean radish, which are the, the purple round discs, mushrooms, snow peas, zucchini. All right, here we have eggplant. Uh, then we have carrots, green bell peppers, and scallions, or green onions. And then some spinach, which is going to be uh, the last thing that I, that I do. Now, I push that in there and it's there straight. Okay. Now, uh, before I make the batter, I curled these carrots and how I did it. Oh look, a McDonald's arch. The first one in 1959. Look at that. At any rate, I actually put them on this, okay, and they're not cooked. You cut them thin. Now I'm going to take them off. I'm going to put them right in there and they stay. All right, I put them in this little jar. It gives a little interest. Okay, when I uh, put them in the batter. Okay, now we have the batter. I have ice water, okay, flour, baking powder, salt, and sesame oil. I'm not putting any eggs in this uh, because um, this gives it a crispier coating. All right, I'm putting in the sesame oil. You stir that around. Now, this should not be beaten up too much. I'm going to put in baking powder. Okay, stir that around. And I'm going to put in some ice water. Make sure that the ice doesn't come out. That's what I'm using in this picture. This really has to be very cold. That's very important. All right, so now you fold it in. You stir it around like this. If you don't beat this up, it's going to be thick and it still will be lumpy. And this really needs to be made at the last minute uh, because what happens is that the baking powder will die. You know, it'll fizz out, it will not be will not be good. Alright, so now I'm almost there and I may have to put a little bit more oil in here. I mean water. I think Amor probably will cut some of this out here because it's this is what you call dead air, right? Dead air. So I'm just I don't want to rush this because it it will not puff up. That's good. That's a perfect consistency. All right, now the last thing that I put in here is a little salt. If you put too much salt in, uh, it will puff up more in volume. And um, if you're making a cake and you use salt or some kind of baking um, pastry, you make that in the oven, you're gonna, it's going to rise so much that it'll, you'll be cleaning your oven. Look, a baby one. All right. This is how you test your oil. That's your thermometer. You drop some of those in there. If they just stay at the top, uh, that means it's not hot enough. They have to go down. So I just raise the temperature. Now we're going to start first with uh, some vegetables. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, the Korean Uh, radishes. You just drop them right in. And I'm going to put in some zucchini. Just dip that right in the batter, like that. I'm supposed to let it peek out a little bit. A lot of the um, things that you deep fry a lot of times, what you do is you try to get everything covered. On this, you don't. You don't want it to all be covered. You want to see a little uh, part of the color of the vegetables or whatever you fry peeking out and they don't fry for a very long time. I would say maybe another, I don't know, 20 seconds. Okay, that's that. Now the next thing we're going to put in is these little snap peas and you can fan them out all together like this so that you don't have to do each one individually. We 
do my mushrooms. You can hold the stems like this. So snap these all puffed up. I'm gonna put them right over here because I'm afraid they're gonna fall through that grill. See how puffy they get? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these veggies. Alright, this is eggplant. I curled it, I cut it in a curl so that we get crunchy all the way around. Dip that right in there like that. Now we can put our carrots in as well. Carrots take a little bit longer. I'm gonna put the mushrooms over here. Now, this needs to be done, generally you use serving one portion at a time because they get cool very quickly. However, um, it's alright, if those are cooler, we're going to do the flounder and the shrimp at the very last because that is important that that stays very hot. Carrots go directly on the plate. Now the next thing, we'll do a few peppers. All these lumps are very important. That's what's gonna make it puff up. All right, now the scallions, okay, I've left them in their natural state, I've cleaned them. And you just, so that you have the green sticking out, throw them right in there. Now I'm working in a very small space here. You have to have uh, asbestos hands. It's really not burning me very much, although it's very hot. You need to help it out because this, uh, I wanted a large, Later, grab this. Okay, now these we're going to put right back here directly. And we're going to take the eggplant. Because I'm going to plate all of this up as a serving. Next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to do um, spinach leaves. Okay? And so what you do with the spinach leaf is that you just do one side. And let the green show. So you have crispy on one side and the green color on the other side. He wants to go back into the pool. Okay. Okay, next we're going to do the flounder. I cut the flounder into little strips like this. And the flounder works very well. You can use tilapia. You could use other fillets as well, but I think that this is a very mild fish. It goes very nice with the shrimp. Now also, you'll see with these, I don't have to worry, the oil's pretty hot. Usually what you do, a technique so they don't stick on the bottom, is you hold it in for a second, and then you let it go. Because what it does, sometimes it'll go right there to the bottom and it'll stick. So you don't want that to happen. Okay, I'm going to put the flounder and the shrimp right on this platter so I can get the shrimp right away. This looks fantastic. All right, so now we do our shrimp. Leave the tail out like that. Hold it in until it just starts to bubble and then let it go. Okay, the shrimp are done. Okay, so now here's the platter. Put the flounder here. I'm going to put the shrimp here. Right this is one of my favorite things, of course. I say that about everything that's food. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my rice. These are those Korean radishes, which are fantastic. And there's some carrots. There's a few little mushrooms. And zucchini. Okay, and that is tempura with mega vegetables, shrimp, and flounder. And this sauce is uh, has vinegar soy sauce in it, and you deep dip this right in. I'm going to try one. Look at this. This is really dynamite. It has to be eaten right away. So if you excuse me. I'm going to eat this now. Have a good evening.